counting down the top 10 comic books releasing this Wednesday, March 24th, 2021. Hello and welcome to the weekly VM Campos Comic Book Club. I'm your host, VM Campos. This is the series where I count down the top 10 first issues releasing this week on New Comic Book Day. Happy anniversary to me! This is the beginning of Season 6 of the podcast. And in order to celebrate that, I've got a giveaway. Watch the video and at some point it will be revealed how you can win a very cool comic book prize. Stick around. In the meantime, let's talk about the best issues coming out this week. All right, so starting over at Marvel Comics number 10, we have Alien number one. So Marvel now has the license to the Alien franchise. It used to be over at Dark Horse Comics for decades, literally, since around 1989, I believe. And now Marvel has it, so they've got a brand new number one. There's a bunch of variant covers for this. This is the regular cover. looks pretty cool. I like how dark it is. Peach Momoko as well has been doing a lot of covers. I love the detail on this Peach Momoko cover. I always pick up her covers as soon as I see them. And we've got Scotty Young. So anyway, for number 10, I picked Aliens number one from Marvel. At number nine, I picked the brand new Harley Quinn series, uh, volume four, apparently. This is over at DC Comics. It's a brand new story in uh, the world of Harley, new character, new friend, and so forth. Here's the regular cover, the Riley Rosmo cover. I like it. It's very fun. It's very energetic. It's very Harley Quinn. There's also a cardstock variant cover by Derek Chu. This is the one that I reserved. I love how luminous it is and shiny and a uh, cool, fun, bubbly Harley Quinn. And there's also a Yoshitaka Amano cover. I am flabbergasted by this. If you don't know Yoshitaka Amano, uh, he was the artist that developed the Final Fantasy artwork style, that classic series of video games. And here we have, this is possibly the very first ever Yoshitaka Amano art on the cover of a DC Comics comic. And there's another one coming soon for Superman, soon. So brand new Harley Quinn series, a bunch of cool variant covers to pick from. Issue number one is number nine. And number eight, let's move over to Boom Studios with Firefly, brand new verse. So if you're a fan of Firefly, but not that one guy that invented it, um, here is a brand new uh, series set in the future, actually, 20 years after the events of the original Firefly with the daughter of Wash and so so we have the regular cover over here we've also got a very fun cute cover that i like a lot i like these tones of the cover and the exploration of things and there's also the unlockable variant with uh with the uh, with a different cover which of course you would have known about if you had been subscribed to the youtube and you followed my shorts that i release every friday one minute at a time i tell you what to look out for and you would have known about this one boom studios firefly brand new verse number one did somebody say vampirella did somebody also say Purgatory? Well, here we have both in the brand new Dynamite comics. Vampirella versus Purgatory, number one from Dynamite, taking seventh place. So yeah, Bad Girls of the 90s returning 20 years later, 25 years later, and it's a brand new story where there will be carnage. There will also be a variety of variant covers. This is the regular Derek Chu cover. We've got a Joseph Michael Linsner cover. He's been doing a bunch of these Boom Studio covers. I really love the red tones on this. The contrast of Purgatory looking really badass, contrasting with Vampirella looking like, did I do that? There's a couple of secret covers, Final Order cutoff bonus covers, that you would not have known about if you hadn't already subscribed to my YouTube channel and followed up on my shorts. Once again, those shorts this is the Alvaro Saraseca cover, uh, Final Order cover. Uh, cover your eyes for that little part of it right there. But anyway, this is the Final Order bonus cover. But the one that I got, because I'm up to date with all the final order cutoff dates, I got this one. The Daniel main cover where we've got Vampirella and Purgatory vamping for the camera with their phones, doing some selfies in the middle of the mayhem. And this is number seven on the list. 
Next up is number six at Dark Horse Comics, Black Sad Amarillo. This is the hardcover collection, so it's a little bit pricier than the regular issues. This is the internationally renowned series by creators Cañales and Guarnido. This is just a great off the beaten path type of comic book that really shows you the range of what the comic book medium is. So various collected stories here for one price in a hardcover. We're halfway through the list and I've picked Carnage, Black, White, and Blood, number one of four. Amazing cover here. If you're really into Carnage, it's a brand new mini series to get into. This is a Sarah Picelli cover. We've also got the Ryan Otley variant cover. A lot of kinetic action happening in this one as par for the course for Otley. An Inhuk Lee cover with this beautiful sort of like wet design that he's known for. And of course, the Gleason cover, the style that he did here for the recent Spider-Man number 55 that everyone loved. Here he did a version for this Carnage book. The interesting thing about this series is that the whole story is simply done in black, white, and red, as we can see here by the interior art. So the splashes of red to really catch your attention, which really work. Wow, this is a great panel over here. And that's what this series is, Carnage, Black, White, and Blood, number one of four. At number four, I picked Teen Titans Academy number one. Marvel can't be the only company that's got a brand new comic book with Academy in the title and a bunch of youngsters learning the way of superheroing. DC's got their own version, Teen Titans Academy number one. So the various Teen Titans are teaching the new generation of superheroes, uh, including Red X as well. Now that he returned in future state, DC is ready to put him in all of their comics. All right, everyone, you made it this far. Let's pause for the cause. We've got the giveaway going on. Let me tell you what you can win and then how you can win. Well, you could win possibly The Walking Dead Deluxe number three variant cover, or you could win this Harley Quinn variant cover, or you could win this Spider-Man variant cover, or you could win this Spawn variant cover, or this Enchanted Tiki Room variant cover. You could win any one of these variant covers simply for being a fan of the podcast and going to my website, vmcompost.com. There's a contact form there. Send me an email that you watched this particular episode. Tell me what was the thing you were looking forward to of my top 10 picks, and you'll be entered to win. The sixth person uh, entry gets their pick of which comic book to pick first. Then the fifth person gets their second choice. Then the fourth person gets the third choice and so forth. Math. So all you have to do is go to my website, be the sixth person to get the first pick of one of these variant covers. No purchase necessary. And all of that is to thank you for watching the series, this podcast that I've been doing for six years now, beginning my sixth year, talking about a lot of comics. And I want to thank you for coming along for the ride with a comic book. Head on over to the website, vmcombos.com. Now back to the show. All right, we're in the last three picks, and all of them happen to have been the same sort of genre. I must be in a mood. So here we have Heavy Metals, Cold Dead War, number one of four. Mature readers, because this is a brand new horror, war, violent comic, Trained to kill enemies of American democracy and freedom, the Pacific Pearl team continued to carry on their mission, even now, long after they're already given their lives to the cause. A horror war series set across the past, present, and future. Look at this cover. It's amazing. It's, it's, it's an island in the South Pacific with blood in the water, and of course it's a cool-looking skull. So I picked this one from Heavy Metal Magazine. In that vein, I picked Rabid World number one as pick number two, and this is from Scout Comics. It was like any other morning until it wasn't. So this is another one of these zombie horror tales. Brand new issue one of this series over from Scout. Great cover right here. Monochromatic except for the splashes of red. And if you're into horror, we get to have Halloween in March on these top three picks. Because pick number one from Behemoth Comics is Vietnam Horror number one. Another mature rated comic, another horror comic, another war comic, another nihilistic comic book to really warm your heart. Interior art is amazing because it is in black and white. 
there really is such a great stark contrast when you read a comic book in black and white that is designed in black and white with actual washes, ink washes and such. Here the detail that you see, not just a black and white digital sort of colorization, um, you can tell that this sort of art here is in the style of the classic uh, EC Comics, Warren Comics sort of style with this just beautiful black and white that has these tones. Look at the jungle there, the clouds, the moon, the smoke, even that light on that lamp. This, this looks amazing. So that's why I picked Vietnam Horror number one for the top slot. And that was my top 10 list for Wednesday, March 24th, 2021. What do you think? What did I get right? What did I miss? Tell me about it in the comments. Now these are the comics that are coming out this week, but what about if you wanted to know about the comics that were coming soon? Guess what? I do a series of videos where I tell you that exactly. New comics coming soon, one minute at a time. Subscribe on the YouTube to be alerted to that, so that you never miss out on an amazing variant or issue number one. You gotta be on the YouTube. Better yet, head on over to the Patreon, patreon.com slash vmcampos. Subscribe for free to be alerted to everything that I do, not just on YouTube, but everywhere else that I'm online. Consider going to the $1 pledge and joining the VMC crew to unlock exclusive stuff. At the $2 range, I'll actually mail you some comic books in appreciation for joining the VMC crew. And it really shows us creators that you fans enjoy our content. It really keeps us going. I love it when I check my inbox and I have a brand new notification that a new person has joined the VMC crew. It's an amazing feeling. If you can't quite pledge at the moment, no worries. Simply follow for free on Patreon to be alerted to everything that I do. Don't forget to click that subscribe and ring the bell, Battle the Minotaur on YouTube to so be alerted to everything that I do there. And once again, don't forget to like, comment, share, retweet, whatever, this particular video to tell everyone else what the top comics of the week are. And I'll be back on the reg to tell you what's coming new. This has been the weekly VM Campus Comic Book Club, and I'll see you next week.